Marcus Buchecha Almeida joins us now. Another fight, another victory, this time against Simon Carson. How pleased were you, number one, to get the win, but number two, just to have a fight finally after so many disappointments for you? Yeah, I mean, I'm so happy, so stoked that I got one more win, 3-0 and all right now. Uh, a lot of respect for Simon Carson. He he gave his word, signed the contract to show up the day. So it was being hard for me to find an opponent, but I finally found one. And I hope to get back as soon as possible. So I want to keep on track and I want to keep the, the momentum going. How pleased were you to show off another side of your skill set this time, a little bit of ground and pound to get the finish? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I train a lot, the, rest, uh, the wrestling, the striking, the jiu-jitsu. So I was really confident uh, in my striking, but I saw Simon was moving really well too. So I didn't, he, he got a good kick, so I kicked him back. So it was like back and forth, but I saw opportunity to take him down, so, and I did it. And he was defending really well, but once I got good position in the mount, I, I felt like good position to ground and pound. So I didn't waste any energy be before. So I didn't try to give any blows from the half guard because he was defending, he was turning, he was fighting really hard. But once I got the mount and got good control, I felt like that was the moment to start punching and open up for a submission or something. But I saw he defending, so... I guess I'm going to keep punching and the referee stop. I mean, you made your career out of getting the squeeze, getting submissions, making people tap out. Does your mindset change now when you see those opportunities? Do you get satisfaction from, from throwing those strikes on the ground like that now? I wouldn't say satisfaction, but it's a game. It's another sport. So it's MMA. I'm not fighting grappling, so... A lot of times when you just focus on the submission and maybe you do a mistake in the bottom, bottom without punishing the guy, without opening up space. And it happened a lot with me in training before. But nowadays I know it's a different game. So when you have a good position, you have to touch, you have to like punish the opponent because that's how he's going to like do mistakes. And when I see the mistakes, I get it. So that's a completely different game than rest, than grappling itself. So it's MMA. You have to punch, you have to take down, you have to defend, you have to submit. So it's it's a mix. It's still quite early days for you, but was today a milestone, the first TKO? What do you mean? The first TKO victory in your pro MMA career. Yeah, yeah. So that was the first one, but I hope not the last. <laughs> That's for sure. Absolutely. Now that you uh, have got that win under your belt, are we going to see you soon again? Are you going to be pushing for another fight? I know you want to get that experience as much as you can. Yeah, I saw uh, Demetri Johnson and Adriano Moraes too coming up. April, uh, April, no, August uh, 26, if I'm not wrong. So I'll be down to be in the card 100%. A couple of weeks, a couple of weeks to go. That's it. Uh, I hope I can get back to the cage as soon as possible. So this date would be perfect for me. That'd be a nice one. Uh, I saw when you were at Tiger, Anatoly Malikin said he'd like to grapple with you. Is he crazy for wanting to do that? No, I mean, uh, he's, a, he's a really good wrestler. So uh, we, I'm not there yet to fight for the belt. He, he, he and Jean have to do their business, but I'm working my way up. Like in the future, I'm going to have more opportunities. So, but I'm not worried about to fight them right now. I don't really want that. And but grappling, I never really thought about it, but it should be interesting. Why not? And what about uh grappling? It's something you always get asked about, but uh, I know Rainier Derrida is a guy who's interested. If that was offered to you, would you be keen or you prefer to focus on MMA? Uh, being honest, if I want to spend like time on camping on, on like a training camp. It must be for MMA. So I don't want to like, just if something happens, if I come here, like a fight, like pull off like the last week and they offer me like a grappling fight, I would be down to do it, but not to prepare myself to do like a camp, to do a grappling fight right now. It's not in my plans, but who knows, right? Depends if the organization asks me and Shatri asks me, maybe like would do, 
would make sense for me, but uh, right now is not in my plans. Can you talk to us a little bit about the difference between when you stepped out to fight Anderson Silva and then the guy who's now 3-0? How much have you grown in the last couple of years as a martial artist? It wasn't really long ago, right? The first fight was September, so it was like a couple, like less than a year apart from the first fight for today. But one thing I can say, I'm feeling really confident in the cage. Right, so I'm learning the game. Every fight I come more comf comfortable. I'm not rushing anything. I'm taking my time to do everything. So, of course, I could get the takedown early in the round, but I was ready to do 15 minutes of striking if I need to. And I never really think I would say that, but I just fell in love for MMA, just the way that I fell in love for Jiu-Jitsu, like 17 years ago. Like actually, like twenty years ago, and it's great because for me, a lot of people ask me like, "Oh, Bushisha, when are you gonna get re when are you gonna retire?" Man, my answer is always the same. If I retire, then I have to work, right? <laughs> so for me, that I don't call that a job. So I just something that I love and enjoy. So I'm not retiring anytime soon. Perfect. Well, we're glad to hear that one. Uh, what about Odie Delaney? Did you see his performance tonight? He said, you yeah. guys are friends. You've been training for a couple of years and, and he would only want to fight you if it was for the belt. How do you feel about that? Yeah, yeah, man. He did good. He did really good. Uh, Matthew is really tough. So I knew they would like to wrestle fight. They would strike a lot. And yeah, just like he said, you know, maybe we're going to face each other like on the top really soon, I hope. But it will be really inter interesting, too. You know, he, uh, he's really a tough guy. And happy for him, too. He got two victories in the organization. So he's doing great. I'm happy for him. So we got two guys fighting for the title, Anatoly and Aryan Bilar. Uh, both of them have been talking about you. One wants to grapple you. The other one said he's really impressed with how you're coming along. And he's, he's got his eye on you. Is it nice for you that the champs are, well, the interim champ and the champion are both watching you very closely? Oh, man, how can I, how can I say no, right? So it's, if, if I say no, it's, I, I would be lying. So for me to, to, to hear about this, uh, this guy is telling such good things about me, about my career, it's a big honor because like uh, both of them are really like big names in this sport. Uh, and it's good to know that they, they, they're watching like the beginning of my career. So of course that means a lot and I feel honored. So commentator, grappling icon, undefeated MMA star. It's all going pretty well for Buchecha. Good to see and good to speak to you. Nice fun. Thank you. Thank you guys. I appreciate the support. Awesome.